Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Beavers. And today we're going to go into the advanced options under the Weaver 2. Uh, this is a WordPress theme. Yeah, you don't have to know all kinds of code and things to get a really nice looking website up and running with this theme. Uh, it's free and they also have a pro version. But if you go on my site and you click on the Weaver 2, it's going to pop up uh, the different tutorials that we have up on it and that way you can see them all at once. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the site here that we were working on. That's what it looks like. And we're going to go into Advanced Options. You get there by going to Appearance, Weaver Admin. And then you click on Advanced Options and these come up. A lot of these things you don't need to go change. And so I'm going to go through them very quickly. Um, if you, this first section, sometimes you'll have uh, different sites you go to and they'll say add this to the header section of your site. Well, instead of going into the editor and pulling up your theme and finding the header and sticking it between those uh, different post header and end header, just stick it right here. And this would be like if you got Google Analytics code that you're adding to the site. Now, if you're using the Google Analytics plugin, that works too. The reason why this is so cool and good is themes upgrade after a while. And if you take a theme and you go in and customize it, you can add your Google Analytics and other things in there, and then the theme upgrades, and if it changes that one file, you've then lost your changes. So if you change it here or like in the plugin, then when your theme upgrades, you don't lose those changes. And here you can change, add some extra CSS rules here, again, instead of going back into the editor and changing it to the style sheet. You don't have to change anything here. You can go on. If you want to use it, it's a cool tool. And this is much like the other one. Uh, just, you can add some other uh, code and different things to different sections. You could have uh, some HTML added different parts on the footer section and the header section. And maybe you got a banner or something else you want to put in. Uh, you don't need to do anything with this to get this set up. If you want to know more about it, click on the question mark. Help will come up. Weaver has several page templates, and this kind of gives you an overview as to what they do. You can go back and look at them. We'll get into templates in another tutorial. And this is a lot of the changes. They have a pro version. You can go and buy a pro version. If you are taking these, if you have a graphic designer making a bunch of Photoshop files for you, where the whole site should look, then this may be handy to get the different backgrounds that you cut in, in these sections to have it work the way you want it to work. Um, that would be the background images here. And this is just so you can hide the titles in your archive, ar archive um, type pages. Uh, Weaver 2 is very mobile friendly. And you can, um, it changes how it looks for phones and tablets and things like that versus laptops, computer desktops. And um, it's very responsive. Um, I would just go ahead and leave this as is. If you have the pro version, there's a few more uh, different things that you can change on there. You do want to look at this section here. This is a section on SEO. Now, what it does is it gives you a place where you can put a description for your site. And this description will go on all the pages of your site. And you can put some keywords here, and this will go on all the pages of your site. Now, that's not very, um, which is cool. But at the same time, it's not very friendly for the search engine. It's not going to help you near so much as if you use the SEO plugin. I suggest that you use SEO plugin, uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast. And when you do that, you want to check this box, save the settings. Make sure you do that. So otherwise, you're going to have this showing up along with whatever. You don't need duplicate descriptions. You don't need this showing up. You want the good descriptions showing up. Okay, here is Insight Options, and here's a few more things you may want to do. I have a section that I'm going to link to that will show you how you can make a favicon. Once you make a favicon and upload it, then you put the path to it right here, and that way it will be able to find it. If you need to upload it somewhere and you're not sure how to upload it, FTP or somewhere, you can actually go into your media library and add it that way. And it's also got some support here for what shows up in Facebook pages and the avatars and things. Anyway, have fun with this. Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Beavers.